All right, slightly different video. This is very odd. All right, so back in January, late January, I believe it was, I decided to apply for the UK Sport ta Talent ID. So there's like this little advert saying like, do you think you could win a gold medal? And I was like, you know what? I think I might be able to. So anyway, I looked at the old website and had a little look about um, what what you sort of needed to do. I saw I saw bikes getting involved. And I was like, that looks pretty promising. Um, and I had a look what sports there were. Unfortunately, there wasn't like like endurance cycling. There was only sprint cycling. I was like, well, there's no way I'm going to get in. Um, but I was thinking, you know, what what could I do? So anyway, I, I had a look on the little website and I saw skeleton bobsleigh. Now. It was very interesting because I do quite enjoy the skeleton bobsleigh watching it, but I never really thought I'd actually be good at it. So basically, what I did is I just submitted like a form and it was like, what's your best sporting achievement? I was like, I came third in some like shitty Kermis in Adelaide. I was like, yeah, that's decent. Like now I could probably say I won some international race in Thailand, even though it's like a club race and doesn't really count. Um, and then I said like, what's what other things? I was like, I you know, do six watts per kilo for 10 minutes, all this stuff. And like, can't really do that, but you know, Bit of bit of exaggeration never hurt anyone. So anyway, um, discover your gold recently. Let's have a look at what they sent me. They sent me they sent me an email recently, and I was <laughs> I was rather worried. Um, it they suddenly said like you've been selected. <laughs> I was like, oh god, um, this is not good. I think um, yeah. So it was thanks for your application for your discover gold, and I was like yeah. Please confirm your attendance by Sunday the 20th of May. Uh, well, didn't didn't really say I could attend, but anyway, it's all good. Uh, so I sort of read that, this email on the 4th of May and was like, well, what was this? Can't really remember. But I did actually manage to get this election email. <laughs> this is pretty funny. And then today, they sent me another one being like, congratulations again. I was like, oh God, I didn't respond. And, and I was like, if you have not yet confirmed your attendance or no longer be able to attend. So I was like, I actually can't attend because obviously I'm in Thailand. Um, and it was like, do all this stuff. So I was like, all right, I'll show show the viewers what, what goes on into the UK, how they managed to get some medals. So we'll go on this on this first one. Um, just, just you know, some normal things, nothing nothing too major for that. Uh, athlete history. Um, let's have a look at this. Like, I was literally like, can't believe I got picked. Like, I literally like, like sporting milestones. <laughs> what do you consider your main sport? Cycling. Um, do you consider? Oh well, I'd just say road. You know, what sport did you start competing? I don't know, like sixteen or something. Like all this stuff. Like, what age did you compete at your an Olympic or Paralympic games? <laughs> didn't didn't quite do that one. <laughs> Not gonna lie. What level? What at what age did you first compete in a national junior level? Um, haven't quite done that. At what age did you compete at a local level? Mm, Seventeen, maybe. Regional, county level. Don't think I really count. Have I competed on the international stage in Thailand and Australia? Don't really think that counts either. Um, what else? Were you, <laughs> at what age were you selected to train as part of a GB squad? Uh, didn't quite get that one either. Um, what? Um, have I had any of this? No. Family history. What are the height of my mum and my dad? Not quite sure. Did either of my parents play competitive sport? Yeah, but not really. Do my siblings? I want to scout my brothers and sisters. Bloody hell. Um, where did I grow up? Am I at school? Um, all right. Well, I'll probably will actually film this, fill this in at some point. Um, what else have we got? We've got the grit scale. I think I'll fail on this massively. Um, it's probably like new ideas and projects sometimes distract me. Like bloody hell, they really are going pretty detailed. Um, so yeah, this is this is pretty funny to be honest. Phase one medical questionnaire. It's probably like. Do you have asthma? Yes, we want you. Um, are you any, uh, none of this stuff. Are you taking any dietary supplements? Um, this is pretty funny. So anyway, I think then, so you fill all that stuff out and then after that, let's have a look, any, what are the instructions? I believe you just fill it out and then off you go pretty much. It's, uh, the grit scale. 
It's pretty insane. Though. Like, if you want to be a gold medalist, like, it's not that hard. Well, okay, it is. But, like, if you want to get in the program, it doesn't seem like... It seems pretty good, to be honest. Like, it, it's not sort of closed circles. Like, if you've got the talent, they're going to go find you, which is pretty beaut, to be honest. Because um, I'm... Yeah, I couldn't really believe um, that I'd actually managed to get this at all, um, to be honest. Like, I don't know how they managed to think that I was good. But I guess... They do some testing, um, so they just do sort of sprints, which, I mean, I mean, it was asking me, like, how fast I can sprint. I was like, I literally can't sprint, so that's going to be interesting. Aerobic fitness, yeah, smash that. I'll be, like, on the what bike, like, a four-minute test, fucking bang that out. Upper and lower body strength tests, absolutely no chance. And then they have to, like, go into the confirmation phase. Um, but anyway, hopefully, maybe next year I'll apply again, a bit more on my CV, and then maybe we'll actually be there. And then who knows? Will I be at the Olympics? That'll be absolutely hilarious. Um, well, not even, not even if I was at the Olympics. Um, but like, if I was just anywhere, like, I mean, it would just be hilarious if I like actually managed to like even get onto this at all. Um, so yeah, it's uh, pretty, pretty funny to be honest. But anyway, it's all good, all good laugh. Um, let's have a look at this invitation, actually. Let's have a look. A little look. I will be asked to do my height, all right, an arm span, 40-meter sprint. Oh, God, that would be dreadful. A vertical jump, a standing long jump, a power test on a watt bike, max power, 1,000 watts. Endurance test, bang that out, easy. And then... Don't need to do any specific training. Food and drink. Aspirin inhaler. <laughs> Classic. Please note, running su spikes and cycling cleats are not allowed. Um, but anyway, this is absolutely hilarious. Um, and then the skeleton bobsleigh, if I was selected, it will be the 20th and 22nd of July in Bath. If I'm going down some skeleton bobsleigh track there or something. Um, but anyway, it's a bit of a shame I can't make it, but it's all a good laugh. Um, so if you have any questions and think oh, I'm going to make it as a skeleton bobsleigh person and my cycling all goes down the, down the drain, um, then maybe I will. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty hilarious. So if you're in the UK and see these things popping up or any country, you might as well have a go. You never know. You never know until you give it a go. And uh, you might actually get picked. Um, I don't know. I'm round one. Lots of phases to go for me, but maybe, maybe next year we'll, we'll actually have a chance um, if I'm actually in the country. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit, a little bit random, a little bit odd, but you know, thought I'd share what's happening in my life. So cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.